So we're just gonna say Gui. I like this plane. I don't see any reason to change it. So now in a lot of ways I can just flat attack and kill anyone with my giant flyer. Uh, Selesnia has a little bit of life buffer but we can make that up pretty easily. Is it? I'm at three. Let's just make my haste kind attack. That's the play. This looks like a pretty easy win. Might even only be one video. One episode. Uh, they desperately need to hit Day of Judgment Plane. Sarah Sanctum ish thing. Instant Sorceries have rebound. Sweet. I don't know how that works if your spell already has rebound. Kind of curious to find out. Probably just going to do it. I think the way rebound's worded is it's a replacement effect, so you can't double replace. Terminate with rebound, and he didn't kill my guy. Seems beyond awful. So as it stands, we know we have to kill Rakdos, so we're just gonna kill my guy. Run it from their hand on the battlefield. Okay. That one. Just making my <laughs> consuming vapors so much better. Uh, creature to untap, but two one one counters on it. Okay, so it doesn't naturally untap right now. But he does have a Rakdos. This guy do. Sacrifice a creature, target creature gets. What's chaos? Tap each creature you control. Do 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 do. All right, so we can actually activate his second ability here. Exile creature from our graveyard. Give another creature negative two, negative two. We're just gonna go ahead and hit that guy. And we're gonna get rid of rats. Makes my guy bigger. Mortavor. Not that good right now, really. We're gonna go ahead and hit Rakdos with this thing. Gain us some life. Kill his guy. Go for the free roll. Miss. Roll again. Miss. Eh. We attack Slesnia, sure. Roll again, maybe we can untap our guys. Or plane shift, whatever. Top your planner deck till you reveal five planner cards, put a plan from among them and top your planner, blah blah. Okay. Creature dies, tribute, counters, that's pretty sweet. Hmm. Scroll counters, no, we're not doing that for sure. Just reach an online permanent without a fate counter, not doing that. Deals damage one more players. First time in a turn, put a one more counter on it. Creature gains tap, do one damage, that's pretty poor. Red, black, and green spells gain devour five. I think we're just going grand ustory. Yeah, I think that's just the best. Because if my guys die, then I have infinite one ones. Right? Yeah. Like if I get twenty. There we go. I get all these 1-1s, one I can kill every single person in one attack right now. Oh my gosh. That is sick. So, if I cast this guy, I could devour and make him like... Oh. 100... 100... Plus. Silly. And he'll have regenerate. 
All right, you got a token. It's hilarious. Plane shift, okay. Non-werewolf creatures, okay. Well, we could definitely still kill everyone. So again, 2-2 two, two and trample. If we stay on this plane and I hit chaos, it's game over. Blood Artist, you got it. Blood Artist seems not very effective here. Considering you're at 6 and I have 21 dudes. Make more X1s. There's a lot of X1s in that deck. So, like, is it. shouldn't have that bad of a matchup against Rectos just because you have Pingers and they have X1s. But they do, then they have Rectos and they have, uh. The other things, demigods. All right, make more saprolings. This is cool. I could maelstrom pulse away everything. It'd be hilarious. Uh, cast the exiled spell. Target Rakdos. Land. Come on, chaos. I mean, we're just rolling for chaos here. Yeah, no reason not to. Hmm. Yeah, just roll again. Plane shift, that's fine enough. Each player draws four cards, that kind of sucks. Cast spell, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I have not cast a spell. I would like to attack. Can I kill everyone this turn? I think so. I did not cast a spell this turn. Did oh, I cast the rebound. Okay, well, whatever. That is fine. This plane is fine. Number of cards you had, okay. I wanted to kill everyone in one attack. There was what? How many creatures in play? There's one, two, three, uh, seven, eight, and I needed to deal 16, 19 damage. I would have been short. I could have put them all to one. But they're still attacking each other like crazy. I mean, is it just left himself dead on board? I don't get it. Ooh. That would be a demigod of revenge. And where is it going? I mean, it's suicide to attack, even. Okay, no attack. I mean, he could have just killed Is it? but... Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna play that and then just throw something immediately at the 5-4? That would be so bad. So he could throw itself at the 5 4 and just attack for the win. Okay. People are building up boards, that's cool. Can I kill everyone this turn? Okay, let's see. Let's kill Rakdos. Alright, so Rakdos is dead. I think I want to kill Slesnia. So Slesnia. Slesnia 2. So 
stop doing that. So what's that put me at? Ten attacking him. I need four more. So he should be dead. And is it? Fourteen three three attack. Beaconed. Okay. So he beaconed. He's at one. All right. I guess I can accept that. Go ahead and put this guy into play. Oh yeah, I can't. <laughs> Plane shift. Uh, gains double strike and haste on turn. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll just play that, and we will go ahead and play this thing as well. Double strike does not work very well against guys that make you sack your dudes. Roll one more time for funsies. Uh, exile non-token creature you control, then return to battlefield under your control. Sure. Woo! Exile and return! Man, I've been doing so much homework lately, guys. It's annoying. Alright, is it's got Stone Cold Nothing with seven cards in hand? That seems unlikely. Alright, here comes the attacks. I'm just gonna block everything. Yep. Oh, stop auto blocking. There we go. Block. All right. So yes, I'll sacrifice that thing. Not actually making a difference, sacrificing my own stuff. Tip, little tip ball. What do you got? All right, Dominus of Fealty. That's probably not going to save you, considering you know everything. So sure, let's just go ahead and deed away your guy. Play this guy, who's not nearly as big as he should be. Still 12 12, double strike. Haste. And let's put the McNasty on you. Oh, they're all getting in there. I have saplings. What are these? Ooze tokens. Okay, I thought they became saplings for some reason. Maybe it's because I wish you sapling tokens for the one ones. All right, we're attacking. Do we win? <laughs> we win. We win. We win. You should get four unlocks for winning against in a four-player game. In my opinion, just my opinion, though. Maybe at least three, but four would be sweet. So, deck manager. Let's just go to the deck manager of this deck real quick. So we just unlocked a sweet, sweet, nasty card. It's the exact kind of card this deck needs. is a sweet four drop that can just win the game on his own. I think what we need to cut, though, 
is these. These are stupid. Power on top is equal number uh, creatures in all graveyards. Just a bad card, really. I think we need to cut it. Actually, you know what? We cut this guy still. Yeah, this guy just doesn't cut it. He's cut. So there we go. Next unlocks another Rancor, which this deck is not a Rancor deck, but that's fine. Then you get Sweet Winds, Go for the Throat, and Elder. Those are both insane cards. So thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time for more Duels of Planes Walkers 2013. We'll get started on the challenges.